Hello everyone, welcome to another POV Wednesday. Today we are in the Corolla, gonna be testing out the new Will Woods. And uh, I put new fender liner in as well because I destroyed the last one. So I would be lying if I said that this is my first test of the car. This is not, I've driven the car probably 50 miles by now. This is, uh, it's, not a, it's not a new test but I just want to take you out for a quick spin. Already heard a scrape. <laughs> That's uh, brilliant. I'm probably going to destroy this fender liner too. Wouldn't be surprised. Uh, I also don't really care. I've noticed a bit of clunking in the front. I'm going to probably end up double checking the suspension. I don't know if it's the coilovers clunking or if it's my end links clunking or if it's maybe control arms clunking. I'm not 100% sure, but everything feels very solid, which makes me feel like it might be the coilovers clunking. It might be, because otherwise I think if anything else were loose, it wouldn't feel like that. Maybe the locking rings loosened up a little bit. I doubt that the coilover itself at the top pillow ball is clunking around. Because these are case sports, so from what I know anyway, they're pretty high quality, so they shouldn't be clunking around. Anyway, I was thinking about swapping to BC Racing coilovers for this car anyway, so maybe it's fine. Ooh, no scrapes. Very nice. That's not even really hitting them that hard. Also, I, I heard it's so much clunking. There's something that's a bit loose. I had the wheel off changing the fender liner. I forgot to check out what the clunking might be. Uh, check engine lights. That's nice. This car hasn't had a check engine light for a, quite a while, so I don't know what it what it's gonna be for this time. This car has been doing so well for so long, and today, the day when I'm just testing out the brakes, now it's got a light. Okay, well, I mean, I guess if you listen close enough, you can hear the clunk, but or not clunk, the, the brake squeal. I'll see if I can get any louder than that, but I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, these <laughs> these brakes grab real nicely. It takes a lot less pressure to fully engage them, or at least engage them strongly. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I let off. Just so, just so you guys know, this car's not that slow. I floored it for a bit and then let off. Because the thing is, I don't want to go too rowdy on this car when I don't know what the light's for. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that was pretty strong. I felt the car sort of lock up in the rear a bit. I don't know if it was because the surface kind of slippery or maybe not changing the proportion valve is coming to bite me, but. Also, I really like these turns. I'm not taking them too fast right now because I want to take it easy on the car. Mainly what I wanted to do with this video was just to check out the brakes. I want to go super hard on the car. Plus with it popping a code, I want to just make sure that I'm not about to kill this car. <laughs> okay, I, the brake starts squeaking a little more there. I've gotten it to be real loud one time. So, I have gotten the brakes to lock up in this video, which is interesting. I do have a feeling that the clunking noise that I'm hearing is from the coilovers. Because
because at higher speeds like this, they're perfectly fine. No clunking, nothing. Lower speeds and they clunk. And this is exactly the same like when I first installed these and I didn't tighten up the locking ring on the bottom and it had the same symptom. Higher speed was fine, lower speed it clunked like crazy. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's what I'm experiencing again. I probably just have to go back and tighten it up. That's fine. I'll, it'll take me maybe five minutes to fix. So I'm not worried. Come on, please. Let me make it. Darn it. Oh, I could go if I wanted to, but I, I won't. If I really wanted to, I could probably have made it. I don't need a ticket today. Okay, let's see if we can get a little bit of brake squeak going. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Oh. Not gonna miss that chance. Oh, felt like I hesitated a little bit. Okay, now I get to see what my code is. I'm just gonna grab my code reader from in here. I'm just using this little basic one. Okay, is it a P0171? Knew it. Okay. Not much I can do about that one besides just hope it goes away on its own. This car seems to have more trouble though, so I'll leave that in there. <laughs> 